welcome back to my channel. The boys are happily playing downstairs so I thought I would take this opportunity to do another little story time with you guys. And I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Like, I don't know why I'm so excited because it is a pretty horrendous story. I'm not joking. It is up there with one of the worst times of my life. And it was on my 26th birthday. I took Saxon to preschool in the morning with Ezra and I went to go and get him. That afternoon I had planned to go into town and spend some birthday money because I never get to buy stuff for just me. So I did that, exactly that. We went to town, went to Starbucks, I bought some new trainers and a few bits and bobs, had a great time. I came back, the plan also was to go for dinner in the evening with my sister-in-law and her husband, um, and my husband. So I got home and I knew that I had half an hour until my in-laws, the babysitters, arrived for me to go and catch the train. I arrived home and I'd had a bit of a manic morning, the house was trashed and I mean it was the, the worst the house has probably ever been, it was completely trashed and I just felt such pressure to try and sort some stuff out and um, I'd had a really bad few days. I'd been really unwell. We'd just got back from Italy. Um, oh, what's my mouth? Yeah, we'd just got back from Italy. I'd been really unwell. Um, I don't know what I had in Italy, but I had a really upset stomach. Um, so basically, the house was a tip. And um, I knew I had to, like, cook dinner, get the boys to eat, do the washing up, um, put all their toys away. And I had about 40 minutes to do it in. So... Um, I what we normally do we live in a maisonette which is like a flat over two levels um, but it's kind of over three levels because we open our front door we have a private front door to a private stairs and then that goes straight into our lounge now at the top of those stairs is a large stair gate that blocks the entire way um, and that's always shut right so we get in I'm like literally so distracted because I've got so much to do and I pop the buggy in the front door like leave it open we've got a huge tank of a buggy it's a fill and Ted's and we often put it in our garage out the back so I just propped it there got the kids out up they went in we go whack on the telly in the kitchen start washing up what I didn't remember through all this distraction was that I had um, had an oven delivered to our flat the day before and the stair gate wasn't securely on and I'd completely forgotten about this. It's the first time it's ever happened, the only time it's ever happened, thank goodness. Um, and so it was kind of propped up, it wasn't put on properly, it was just propped against the wall. At, well like the gap and um, I was there washing up I could hear Saxon like singing along to his little show and I walk into the lounge and just to check on them and I'm like Saxon where's this where and he looks at me like because he's just a man and he's involved in watching TV and cannot multitask I, I ran upstairs and I checked every room and he was not in any bedroom and at this point I feel sick in my stomach straight away. You know in a dream when you can't move your legs quick enough to like run away from the monster or catch something? That is what I was going through. I was running down all the stairs trying to get through and I ran into our like courtyard of our apart block of apartments and I screamed, Ezra, I've lost my baby! It was so terrifying. That like five seconds that I knew he had gone felt like five hours. I ran out and we, where we live, we live on a main road and cars go so fast. We live just off of a main road. I heard a little voice say, I've got him and I just, my heart sank. I ran over to, to the voice and it was a police officer and I, she wasn't in uniform, so I was a bit confused. So I said to her, someone called you? And she said, no, um, we just happened to be driving past. We were in tra a bit of traffic. And we happened to be driving past slowly, and we saw a baby. And he, I think he was either in just a nappy or in shorts. He didn't have a top on. So if you see a baby walking down the road, you, <laughs> you stop them. He, Ezra was 14 months at this point. 
he'd seen his opportunity, gone down the stairs through the front door and run out to the main road. Crazy child. Yeah, so he'd just been walking down the long, like along the road with his pot belly out. How terrifying. I can't believe that this happened to me. So I, I, I grabbed him and the police obviously say, can we come in? We've got a few questions to ask you. We need your details and stuff because if anything like that happened again, I would have social services on my case. Oh my gosh, I'm never letting Ezra out of my sight ever again and I haven't ever since. And that is why. Um, and even when he's going with other people and stuff, I get, well, both of them, I get terrified that they're gonna run away because they constantly try to. <laughs> um, and anyway, so police come in, they chat to me and I'm on my knees in front of the police officers rocking holding him he's 14 months he's looking at me like what are you doing I'm rocking holding him saying thank you Jesus thank you God thank you my baby's safe and um I was a complete mess this is still my birthday guys so um I my in-laws arrive and I think to myself right I'm gonna put I'm gonna pull myself together and I'm not gonna say anything I need to process what's happened I need to go and meet my husband at the station so we can go on to our meal and I'm just gonna keep it all together. I was so looking forward to this meal, which is why I like was determined to go. Um, so in walk my in-laws and Saxon says, Nanny, Ezra ran out to the road. And I had to explain everything and I burst into tears again. The house is still trashed and I'm absolutely devastated. I basically had a pretty horrendous day, um, other than the shopping. <laughs> um, yeah, so, that was my 26th birthday delight. If you guys have any stories where your children have run away or you've lost them for like a split second, then please leave a comment in the section below. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe because I'd love to get to know you. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.